what's going on everyone uh, my name is Erin in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to find the name of a person when you know the when you get a photo you probably might have happened that you wanted to know the name of a person in a photo but you didn't have any, any means to do that and Facebook has a lot of data which they store in their warehouse so why uh, we, I figured out why not just use those data as they probably use them for you. So for this one we're going to be using the Facebook's API. There is an unofficial wrapper which is in Python. So for this tutorial you need to have Python installed on your computer. If you don't have it then there is no problem. At the moment I'm on uh, Linux so uh, you can do the same thing even in Windows. It's fairly easy, you just need to install Python. Oops, wrong password. So once you install Python, I have already installed this one. I think every, every distribution of Linux comes with Python. I'm not sure about that. But Ubuntu sure comes with that. So I already have the this version 2.7.11. I might need to upgrade it, but whatever. So if you are on Windows, which you probably are, you just need to Google Python and go to the Python page, downloads, Windows, and and you may choose one of those two. Uh, there is no difference for this tutorial, so whatever you like, just choose them. Usually people go with bigger numbers because why the heck not? So uh, let's see if pip works. Yep. So once you press those next, next and finish, you might probably just go to the command line. Uh, I think it is control R and then you just type CMD and it will open the command line. Not control, I think the Windows key, whatever. So PIP, you should click this, uh, should press this one and see if you gave, you get this message, then it means it's successfully installed. So to install the, the library that we need for this one, you just type PIP install uh, FB recog. Yeah, I already have it installed so it will give you some bar or whatever and it will fill up to 100 percent and it will say successful and stuff so after that what you need to do is like as you can see i'm already in my folder py workspace and stuff in my folder over here i have a photo and i have this program little program so let's see what this program has As you can see from FB recog you should import the recognize function so when you have the recognize function this this function is gonna take um, four parameters one two three four yeah four <laughs> so path the access token cookie DPR and Facebook DTSG so if you guys don't know what this terms are don't worry about that path is basically the photo that you're gonna be using I'm gonna be using this 13.jpg. Let me show you guys what that is before that. So, py workspace stuff. So this is basically my photo. It's a famous Albanian singer, or whatever. Uh, so yeah. First of all, I already have him as a friend. Let me check first of all. Da -da -da, da -da -da. So yeah, it's this guy over here. So let's go back. Da, da, da. So yeah, we're done with this one. So this is a path, the file, the photo, the access token. So how to obtain the access token? 
you basically need to go to this URL developers.facebook.com tools explorer don't worry I'm gonna give you the URL in the video description but uh, you might need to log in and do some stuff in here so I'm already logged in so to get your token you just need to go get token get user access token make sure you give the permission to publish actions uh, user photos and user posts once you give this permission just get the access token it will ask you for the permission and stuff and then you just copy and paste it right in here sweet so after this i'm gonna just use my old uh, i don't know whatever So after this one, you need the FBDTSG. So how do you actually obtain this one? Well, it's fairly easy. All you need to do is make sure you first have this friends allowed, or maybe you can use a public, whatever. Just upload a random photo, but before you do that, make sure you press in here, DTR. I'm not clicking, wait. D, 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 R, yep. So, let's see. Let's get rid of this. Let's try to upload the normal photo, whatever photo. This dandelion looks nice. Blah, 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 whatever. Post. Hmm. Oh, it is DPR. So sorry about that. It should be DPR. Let's get the first DPR. Let's get rid of this before I get embarrassed. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this. Wait. Pa pa pa. Okay. So once you get this one. All you need to do is just go to the request header and look for this cookies thing. Copy this one, put it right in here. Bam, I already have it. And you go to the end of this request header and copy this FBDTSG. Not this part, just this cookie, just the, this string from here to here and paste it right in here which is the same as what i have but whatever now we have the access token we have the dtsg we have the cookies and we have the path of our folder our photo whatever and you need to call this function it takes a path as the first parameter then the access token then the cookie and then the dtsg so i'm just printing out whatever this uh, function returns so let's go back to here and WQ and let's clear this one first. So LS, this is the name of my file, my program. All I need to do is just type Python and this stuff is the same even for Windows. Just type Python and the name of the file but you should be in the directory of the file and the file should have this other photo in the same directory. It might also not have the folder in the same directory. You just need to change this one. Wow, what is this? I don't know, ignore. <laughs> so it should at least have some stuff in here, whatever. I don't know, desktop slash my fave singer and all that stuff. So once you get this photo at the same directory and stuff, don't say this, whatever. We just need to frecog.py and press enter and it's gonna do the magic trick. It's not actually a magic trick, it's just uploading the photo in Facebook and it's giving the photo and it's just deleting the photo right after that. It gets the information from Facebook, so this is a certainty it's 97.6 percent that the person is this one and as i assured you guys this is actually that person 
but you should have it as a friend. So make sure you have that person as a friend. Marley. Yeah. This is a person. He has that folder and stuff. So I already have him as a friend. So as you can see, it recognized the name. It gave me the name, just the stuff that I need. Ignore this you. So this is a certainty. And with this one, you can do basically anything you want. I'll be very eager to know what you guys can do with this one. Just comment down below. Give me some suggestion what, what we can do with this one. But I'm pretty sure you will be limited because of the Facebook stuff. They don't give you access to everything. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a lot from this one. Comment below any kind of idea you might have and again don't forget to subscribe like this video and all that fun stuff thank you very much have a great day